Hi friends, let's get ourselves lost while making a maze icon. So here in Figma, you can see I have this maze icon. Let's go ahead and make it. I'm going to begin by drawing out a circle. I'm gonna press the O key and draw it out from the center while holding down the Option key and the Shift key or Shift key and Alt key on Windows. Press Shift X to swap the fill in the stroke. Let's set our stroke value to black. We're gonna set it to the center stroke. And what we're gonna do is make three more. This one is 18 by 18. Let's copy and paste that. This one's gonna be 12 by 12. Let's copy and paste that. And this one is gonna be six by six. I'm gonna double click on this, press Command A to select all. I'm gonna hit Command X or Control X on Windows. Double click, I'm gonna paste it in here. So what I've done is I've pasted those points to be here so they're all grouped together. Let's select all of those as well. I'm gonna hit Command X, Control X on Windows. I'm going to double click out and double click back into our main circle and hit paste. The reason I'm doing that is so that all of our lines are together in the same path object. To begin, press the P key and I'm going to join some of these points. So here we go. I can go ahead and select those points right there. I'm going to double click out and I'm going to rotate using the shift key. Now when I rotate using the shift key and I press the P key in here, I can now snap hold down the shift key and then snap up there. That's going to give me the ability to add in more of these segments. So once again, I'm going to double click out. You want to just rotate only this sensor object here. So I'm going to hold shift key. I'm going to rotate. Let's double click again. And in here, I'm going to select that sensor point, hold down the shift key and click up to that main point. Once again, let's select our circles here. I'm going to hold down the shift key and rotate a little bit. So it's rotating around that center point and then we can hop in here and begin to add in where we want them to connect. It's pretty easy to connect some of those main points. So why we are rotating is so we can begin to make those segments. Now, when you have these little segments here, you can click on that line segment, press delete, and then you have an entryway in. Same thing over here, you press delete and you have an entryway in. We're beginning to create that that pathfinding for our maze. What I can do is once again, rotate this around a little bit. I'm holding down the shift key. I can double click, press the P key. I can click on two points right there and I can select that segment and I can delete that segment. Now I can round out some of these hard edges. Let's select this whole object. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to my advanced stroke and choose the round corners. I can also select the endpoints to both be round. This is going to give us that nice shape. So I'm going to continue a little bit more. Let's find some more points to join. So I'm going to press the P key. I'm going to come here. I'm going to click hold down the shift key, click. It's going to connect those two points. Now, if I want to delete, I can press click right there and, and I can delete. And so as I'm generating this out, I am choosing my path through the maze. You can adjust this as necessary as you see fit to make the maze of your dreams. However, the main way that you're working through this is going to be pretty similar. Now, if you want to create a nice little dot in the center, I'm going to press the O key. Let's draw out this little dot here for a sensor. Let's set that as black. I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully you found this helpful and as always, happy designing.